Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be providing an outline for a project study for a final year student. The outline includes the following sections. Introduction, where the student will provide background information on the problem or topic, outline the objectives of the study, and present the research question S or hypotheses. Literature review where the student will conduct a comprehensive review of previous studies or research on the topic, establish a theoretical framework, and perform a gap analysis to identify research questions derived from the literature review. Methodology where the student will describe the research design and approach, participants and sampling strategy, data collection methods the G, surveys, interviews, observations, etc. and data analysis techniques the G, statistical analysis, content analysis, etc. Results where the student will present their findings and interpret the results of their analysis. Discussion where the student will summarize the key findings, compare their findings with previous studies, discuss the implications of their findings for the field or discipline, and suggest limitations of the study and future research directions. Conclusion where the student will provide a summary of their study, outline their contribution to the field or discipline, and discuss the practical implications of their study. References where the student will list all the sources cited in their study. By following this outline, final year students can develop a comprehensive research project that meets the requirements of their department or institution and makes a meaningful contribution to their field of study. Let's look at a few examples on how this explanation could be applied. Background information helps to contextualize your study and provides a clear understanding of the problem or topic you're investigating. By including background information, you can establish the relevance of your study and highlight the need for further research in the field. It's also important to consider the audience you're targeting with your research project. If your audience is not familiar with the topic, providing background information can help them better understand the significance of your study. Overall, including background information in your research project is essential to provide context and understanding to your audience. So, make sure to do your research and provide a comprehensive overview of the problem or topic you're investigating. Here's an example of how background information can be used in a water quality analysis project. Water quality analysis is an essential aspect of environmental monitoring and management. In recent years, concerns have been raised regarding the presence of contaminants such as heavy metals, pathogens, and organic compounds in water sources. These contaminants pose significant health risks to human and aquatic life and can lead to waterborne diseases, eutrophication, and other environmental problems. The purpose of this study is to analyze the water quality of a local river and identify the presence of any contaminants. By doing so, we aim to provide valuable information to local authorities and stakeholders on the state of the river and its potential impact on the environment and public health. In addition, we hope to contribute to the growing body of research on water quality analysis and inform future management and policy decisions regarding water resources. In this example, the background information provides context on the importance of water quality analysis and highlights the significance of the study. It also sets the stage for the research question and objectives of the project. Here's an example of how the outline could be applied to a project study on multivariate analysis of groundwater quality. Introduction. The student will provide background information on the problem or topic, which is the contamination of groundwater and the importance of maintaining good water quality for human and environmental health. The objectives of the study will be to investigate the groundwater quality parameters and their interrelationships identify the sources of contamination, and determine the factors affecting groundwater quality using multivariate statistical analysis. The research question will be, how can multivariate statistical analysis be used to determine the factors affecting groundwater quality in the study area? Literature review. The student will conduct a comprehensive review of previous studies or research on groundwater quality parameters, sources of contamination, and multivariate statistical analysis methods. 
the review will establish a theoretical framework and identify gaps in current knowledge that will form the research questions derived from the literature review. Methodology. The student will describe the research design and approach, which will involve collecting water samples from different locations in the study area, measuring various water quality parameters, and performing multivariate statistical analysis using appropriate software. Participants will be the water samples collected from the study area, and the sampling strategy will involve collecting water samples from different locations with varying characteristics. Data collection methods will include laboratory tests on water samples, which will be analyzed using various data analysis techniques such as principal component analysis PCA, factor analysis FA, and cluster analysis CA. Results. The student will present the findings of the study which will include the results of the water quality parameters measured in the different water samples and the results of the multivariate statistical analysis. The results will be presented in a clear and concise manner and will be supported by appropriate visual aids such as graphs, charts, and tables. Discussion. The student will summarize the key findings of the study and compare them with previous studies. The implications of the findings for the field of groundwater quality will be discussed and the sources of contamination and factors affecting groundwater quality in the study area will be identified. Limitations of the study will be identified, and suggestions for future research on the topic will be made. Conclusion The student will provide a summary of the study, outlining the main contributions and the practical implications of the research. The significance of the findings for the field of groundwater quality and the potential for using multivariate statistical analysis to identify the factors affecting groundwater quality will be emphasized. References The student will list all the sources cited in the study, following appropriate citation and referencing guidelines. Here's an example of how the outline could be applied to a project study on the improvement of geotechnical properties of soil using plastic waste materials in partial replacements. Introduction. The student will provide background information on the problem or topic, which is the increasing use of plastic waste materials in construction projects. The objectives of the study will be to investigate the potential of plastic waste materials in improving the geotechnical properties of soil and to determine the optimal percentage of plastic waste material that can be used in partial replacements. The research question will be, how can plastic waste materials be used to improve the geotechnical properties of soil in construction projects? Literature review. The student will conduct a comprehensive review of previous studies or research on the use of plastic waste materials in construction projects and the effects on geotechnical properties of soil. The review will establish a theoretical framework and identify gaps in current knowledge that will form the research questions derived from the literature review. Methodology. The student will describe the research design and approach, which will involve laboratory testing of different soil samples with varying percentages of plastic waste materials. Participants will be the soil samples collected from the study area, and the sampling strategy will involve collecting soil samples from different locations with varying characteristics. Data collection methods will include laboratory tests on soil samples including moisture content, a Terberg's limit test, compaction test, maximum dry density, California bearing ratio, etc. will be analyzed using various data analysis techniques such as statistical analysis, content analysis, scanning electron microscopy, etc. Results. The student will present the findings of the study, which will include the results of the laboratory tests on soil samples with varying percentages of plastic waste materials. The results will be presented in a clear and concise manner and will be supported by appropriate visual aids such as graphs, charts, and tables. Discussion. The student will summarize the key findings of the study and compare them with previous studies. The implications of the findings for the field of geotechnical engineering will be discussed and limitations of the study will be identified. Suggestions for future research on the topic will also be made. Conclusion. The student will provide a summary of the study, outlining the main contributions and the practical implications of the research. The significance of the findings for the field of geotechnical engineering will be emphasized. References The student will list all the sources cited in the study, following appropriate citation and referencing guidelines. By following this outline, 
Final year students can develop a comprehensive research project that meets the requirements of their department or institution and makes a meaningful contribution to their field of study. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this outline helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on academic writing and research.